Here is a story, ladies and gentlemen. Sebastian Janikowski, who came to the United States, Daytona Beach, from Poland. He's a junior. This will be his last collegiate game with Florida State. He was one of several Seminoles who was caught breaking curfew this week. However, unlike several others, he will start tonight because his coach Bobby Bowden said, we have international rules for him. So here is Sebastian Janikowski, who is one of the best at putting the ball into the end zone. knee, 68% of his kickoffs into the end zone. The straight eye formation. Dick escapes. Free. All the way to the 39-yard line before Derek Gibson tackles him. A 25-yard gain. Gone are the butterflies. Right. You're right. I mean, this guy runs like a running back and throws like a quarterback. Now he, folks, he could well be the best running back on the uh, field here tonight. He might be. From the shotgun for the first time. And again, trying to escape that pressure. Dances back the other way. Quick, strong, powerful, heading for the first down marker. And the Knowles haven't been able to catch the young quarterback yet. Davis in motion to see what they're going to do. Durden went with him. There's an option look. And Stitt on a toss. Bolts free. Stitt swings inside the 30. Down at the 26-yard line. Ryan Allen, but it's 26 more yards and a very impressive Jared. opening drive. That was fullback Jared Ferguson's first carry of the game. Keep this stat in mind. Tech has rushed for 65 yards here. And Florida State only allows 98.8 a game. So keep that one in mind as this evening unfolds. The pick, the left-hander. Plenty of time. Davis on the juggle. Down at the 12-yard line. It is first down. Hokies. From the 13-yard line. Stiff the tailback. They keep Davis in motion. Here is Stiff pounding the middle of that defense of the Knowles. All the way to the six-yard line and a quick attacking left side of the offensive line. Seymour back in at left defensive end for Andrews' defense. Third and short. Extra running back and Stith dives toward the first down marker. It'll be close. I don't know quarterback sneak with the size of that guy. Might try to pull him off with his count. Doesn't. Hits him fast. Cut the ball, nothing doing, fumble, end zone. Florida State covers it. Florida State recovers the fourth down fumble in the end zone. It was Corey Simon, the All-American nose guard, number 53, from Pompano Beach, Florida. Now 27-year-old Chris Winkie, his chance for that ring that he could not compete for last year. And it is the handoff to Travis Minor uh, to the 25-yard line. Um, and, uh, you know, I don't want to leave that ring in New Orleans. I don't want to give it to anybody else. And he completes his first pass. And Peter Warwick has now tied his reception output of last year at the Fiesta Bowl as the Seminoles keep going without the huddle here. And now they will regroup. Here's Peter Warwick and what he has done in big games and already he's come up with that one fake toss and Winky rolling in Warwick's direction. He's got him one-on-one. -on -one. Can he get him off into the middle of the field? Warwick goes up. Got it. Bubble. No. Incomplete. Peter Warwick let one get away in the early going. A defense with the lock and low. Look at Here's the lock down here. Two guys, man to man, all over the field, load up at the top. A late pitch, stiff. Driven out of bounds that time is Sean Key, number 18, the senior from Miami, puts a pad to him. Stiff, first down. Here's first down, and they keep him lined up in that eye formation with the fullback Ferguson in front of him. 
play fake, and they bring the wide receiver off the corner to get the ball in number 18's hand, Emma Johnson. And we have a flag down on the field. Five-yard face mask on the defense. Five yards from the end of the run. First down. Tommy Pulley again coming hard for the Knoll defense. From the gun. Trying to dance and he won't because number 44, Gladly Jennings, the sophomore from Miami, is too fast and won't let him out. As a result of the mistake, it is third and 17. The Hokies need to reach the 30-yard line. Davis still going in motion. Watch it. He has to dance away. Now he fires for Davis. What a throw. Oh, baby, what a strike as he finally gets it to Davis. 18 yards. But did you see that rocket launcher? Andrews shows blitz. Coming after him, and he's in trouble. That's the second sack of Michael Vick by the Knowles here today. Some of the fellas get tangled up down there. The advantage you get with a veteran. Over the middle, hot. At the 35-yard line, he comes back to Dugans for the first down, a 15-yard gain. First and 10. Pump fake, looking home run again. Hello, Mr. Ward. In a foot race. Hello, end zone. No strike first. Sixty-four yards. Winky to Warwick. Bud Foster, outstanding defensive coordinator, ladies and gentlemen. He has done a great job. Steve Spurrier wanted him down in Gainesville, but he was so loyal. This is miss snap. Pick running for his life. Going in the wrong direction, oh, and that's probably that. intentional grounding for sure. Yeah. I did not see an eligible receiver, and now the referee throws the flag, and uh, the Hokies will be penalized. Reggie Jordan is back deep, but don't be surprised if the Knowles don't bring a little heat here on Jimmy Kibble. He's an outstanding punter, but this team can really front run. They got it. State out of block punt with Jeff Cheney. They're back up, running back, picking up the block punt and dashing into the end zone. And now, look out. You got some Red Wings that can join you know my what? Panther it's up there. It's hockey season. <laughs> it's James. <laughs> and getting closer by the snap <laughs> down here, my friend. On my head. First down and 10. <laughs> Going downfield is Vic Watts Johnson. There was contact, penalty flag. Durden pushed his hands into him, and I think they had lost contact with the football. Corey Simon down there in the middle. He's the fellow who recovered the loose ball in the end zone. Made the first big play on that opening drive. An All-American nose guard. He came back his senior year. First shot to win the championship. The gun. The pump fake and dropped in underneath, and they used the fullback, Jared Ferguson. The Knowles were concerned about that. Second down and three, and Vick straight back going deep. He's got his man open. He's got Davis. Got him. Touchdown. The home run hitter comes through. Andre Davis just motors past Cleveland Thomas, and it's a 49-yard scoring strike. And does that play ever lift the spirits of the Hokies, their coaches, and their fans? Knowles are doing an outstanding job against Corey. Tackle pushes him outside. They run up. They use his speed to their advantage. They design the play to bring him upfield. Then they slide in underneath. Hox makes the stop. Florida State with the lead. We've got looking on from the sideline here. First and ten for his offense. Complete. All year he's been their emotional leader. He was trying to tell his team we're not backing up from anything. 
I think he said that after the fact. <laughs> Third down and three. Winky gun. Got Dugan's brakes free. They won't catch him, I don't believe. A defender with the angle can't get there too fast. Dugan's 63 yards on the quick strike. And Florida State goes back up by two touchdowns. Need 23 here, Gary. Vic buys time, fires high, tipped, incomplete. And Virginia Tech forced to punt. And the Knowles going for the juggler. Here's Peter Ward back to return this punt. And Pulley blocked the last punt. Cheney scooped it up and scored a touchdown. The second touchdown by the Knowles. And so he rushes this one. That sometimes happens after a block punt. One hop, Warwick says, let's go. And Allen, 40 yard line. And a race won't catch him. Hello, end zone. A 59 yard punt return for a touchdown. Imagine that, two freshmen, Peter Lork and Randy Moss. I don't know what's scarier. The football playing or them being roommates. <laughs> <laughs> That's the line of it I'm so far. It's a high kickoff and Kendrick is coming out. Big hole. Now it's Kendrick's turn. To the nose. 37-yard line. A 63-yard return for Kendrick. So after running 63 yards, he probably said in that huddle, Michael, you keep it. Do yeah, something we, we else. Get it. It's going to be a pass. First down and 10. If I was the Nose, I'd be <laughs> looking for Vic right now. Here he comes. Rolling hard left. Drop it. And the tight end reaches back and makes the catch. Stumbles at the 30-yard line. Brownie win, the sophomore from Jonesville, Virginia, his first catch. Can I cheer for one person to get to the Super Bowl? Is it okay if I do that? You can have your old partner. Ball. Come on. If I ever get there, just cheer for me. Dick Reveal and I did Florida State in the Sugar Bowl a few years back. Here comes Michael Vick in trouble. Dance is free. Great balance. And that is the third sack. What is a hokey? We don't know. Jack Aru, do you got the answer for us, partner? Well, actually, a hokey is nothing. It's a word from a, from a cheer that was founded in 1896 by a student. He wrote it, won $5 in a contest. Through the years, though, the Hokies have been known as the Fighting Gobblers. They've had turkeys as mascots. Now they have a hokey bird. Now, the one thing that's always happened is they kind of thought that maybe it was a turkey. That's the noisemaker that the Hokies use. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> gobble, gobble, my friend. Third down, Vic throws high on the run. And Davis may have crashed into something over there on the side. So this will be a 51-yard field goal attempt for Shane Graham. It's the fake. Fumble! Knowles have got it. With head coach Bobby Bowden in the second quarter, Bobby, Virginia Tech looks shell shot. How do you go for the juggler? Yeah, we'll see. We'll try. I sure don't want to. I don't want us sitting on the darn thing. You know, we got to go after him. You were talking about the mismatch being the wide receiver, but you've had a great game plan against Corey Moore, stopping him from pretty incredible. Yeah, we've got to. Uh... Flea flicker got him again. Warwick. David Pugh made that stop at defensive tackle as you look down on the Louisiana Superdome here it here's the problem safety covering a receiver safety covering an outside receiver here look at that Warwick three catches for a hundred yards here tonight already the second sack and Jamel Smith the linebacker brings Winky down this is third down and about 29 yards to go for the Knoll Winky been sacked a couple times on this series. Moves the pocket, and now he'll take off. Well short of the first down. Slides down to the 43-yard line. And here is fourth down with Keith Cottrell back to punt. And Ike Charlton, his one-time high school nemesis, back deep to return for Virginia Tech. They were coming after one. And so quickly, 
Cottrell fires it toward the end zone, gets a great hop on it, and Tatum down there again. What a night he's having on the Florida State special teams. And Kibble without much room. You have to assume they're going for the block, though. Hangs it out. Durden runs it down to the 46. Bounds on the far sideline. Third down and nine. They're rolling the pocket against the Hokie Rush, and Winky going to be sacked for the third time. First down and ten on the option. And look who's back, Stiff. 17 yards. Second down and nine. And a penalty fly declined, a free play. The Knowles were offside, and Vic makes the most of it. With the speed, he breaks free. Got an angle, Vic pushed out of bounds by Ty Cody, number 27. To the 13 yard line. He's a big time running back. Yep, there. he is. Now on second down. The play fake and Vic rolling hard to the left. Complete inside the 10 yard line. Option Vic going to keep it for the end zone. Touchdown. Could be a long night with Michael Vick out there. Incredible. Talk to the people at Virginia Tech, and they say, we had 999 pieces of the puzzle already set. Michael Vick was the last piece of the puzzle. Brent, as a huge piece, though. Bringing the yeah, clock down to get him out. That's very smart. Then take your lead on into the locker room. Well, Florida State leads it 28-14, but Michael Vick showing you that he's not going away here tonight. And here is the first one, a kickoff. Florida State gets the ball to start the second half, leading it by two touchdowns. Springer and Gardner back deep. Gardner coming out from a yard in the end zone. Donald's his way to the 21-yard line. Shotgun. Swing deflected away. It was a lateral. Corey Moore. That was a lateral. Makes his presence felt on the first play of the second half and then Points a finger to Peter Warrick like this one's not over. Ricky swings it out to Miner. Miner in a foot race, breaks out. Oh my good. They let Miner out on third and 26. On second down, Winky fires high, and it is complete for a first down. Robert Morgan, the sophomore from East Point, Georgia, makes his first catch of the game. Ball out to the oh, hit the man coming through the formation. Loose ball. Winky gets it. Winky dove back after it to make the recovery. And I think it was Anquan Bolden, the freshman, exactly right. coming through the formation, and the ball hit him. And now they go back to a third and 50. Remember, they bailed him out on third and 26 a few minutes ago. This is incomplete. They will punt this time. First down and 10. <laughs> Shotgun for the redshirt freshman. Fires complete. Davis. And Brent, Michael Vick has been hit 17 times so far in this game. Here is number 18 coming up. Late pitch. No, he didn't. And Kendrick dashes for the first down across midfield, and Vic avoided the hit that time. Third down and 16. Vic back again. Sets tall, deflected. 
almost intercepted. Coach Foster and his staff have done some remarkable adjustments here defensively for the Hokies. This is the fourth punt in Florida State's last five possessions, and they force a low-line drive. Here comes Charlton. Cuts free. The heat was there, and the Hokies with excellent field position. A 24-yard return. And Florida State has done such a good job at the end of the season keeping teams from making first downs. Vic's going to throw back. He oh. threw high, caught by the fullback Hawkins. Hawkins all alone down the sideline and pushed out of bounds. First down marker is at the five-yard line. They need about four. He crumbles the snap. Picks it up in trouble. Rackley is coming from behind, and he dashes away from him. How does he do that? And an official is hit hard. The field judge goes down. Thomas is the defensive back who hit him. This is going to be a 23-yard field goal for Graham. Remember the last time they set up for a field goal around the face. I do not think this will be the option <laughs> yeah. here, folks. And Graham pulls the Hokies three points closer with a 23-yard field goal. It's 28 17 now, Florida State. Shotgun, and it was four minutes. Midget diving up over the top, and Minnis makes the grab. The junior from Miami. That's his first catch of the night. They press at the box. Winky being blitzed. Incomplete. Cottrell standing on the Knowles 11 yard line drives Charlton inside the 20 now starts upfield got an alley midfield Charlton who returned two of Cottrell's punts for touchdowns in high school brings this one back 45 yards Second and ten. Sean Witten in as a receiver. Option look, Vic going to keep it short of the first down. The marker is at the 26. The pitch, Kendrick, first down, end zone ahead. Touchdown, Hokies! 29 yards! First two-point conversion attempt this year. I guess when you go 11-0 and you beat everybody up, you don't have to go for two. I guess they saved a good play for this. Pick, fake the handoff. Loose, incomplete. So the two-point conversion fails, and Florida State's lead is 28-23. to Ball is inside the 20-yard line. Under pressure goes deep and it's intercepted at the 40-yard line by Midget. Some folks down in the Palm Beach area raised enough money to send her and a couple of her friends over to this game. They drove up from South Florida and my, how his mom must have enjoyed that interception. Now Michael Vick on a pump fake comes firing the screen to the fullback. First down. Inside the 40-yard line. Second down and eight. Vic Dixon back. Here he comes again. Electrifying. First down at the 20-yard line. Second and long. Option for Vic. He keeps it. Dashes up field. 15-10. Near the five-yard line, it is first and goal for the amazing Vic. First and goal. Kendrick steps to the middle, touchdown! 
Pokies lead it. Pokies lead it on the six-yard run, trailing 28-7. They come back, and Beamer says we'll try two again. Pick from the shotgun with Kendrick to his left. Fires and knocked away. Gibson comes up to make strong defensive play. But the Hokies have put 22 unanswered points on the scoreboard here in New Orleans. Winky. Play fake. Sidearms the ball. And Warwick got a bounds. You get the feeling. You get the feeling that when we saw Bowden on the sideline next to his senior star that he said to him, Peter, it is now time. Yep. Let's go. It is third down and eight. They have gotten the ball to work five times for 120 yards. And they fire back to Minnis in the middle. And Marvin Minnis with a first down at the 38-yard line. His second reception of the night for 19 yards. 29-28. Virginia Tech leads it. This is third and three. Under pressure, Winky. It'll depend on the spot. It didn't appear like he got it. Right at Did the line. not get it. I don't well let's see if the nose of that football. I might have spoken yeah. too quickly. Right at their line right there. But the Knowles burn a timeout to get there as Winky watches from the sideline. Outson, an option quarterback, has been a good runner. Virginia Tech obviously accepts pressure. They toss instead, and it's minor running for the first down. Swinging free, and he is out of bounds inside, and now the yellow comes flying along the sideline. Comes in underneath it. Jeff Cheney out of Lake Wales, Florida, still battling his way like he did against Florida. He was a big-time performer in that game in the Swamp. They bring in tight end Ryan Sprague and fullback Dan Kendra for some protection. They'll try to slip Miner out. They go in zone. Touchdown, Dugans. Perfect call. Ron Dugans, the senior from Tallahassee. The young kids, they went out for the young kids. I think it's a busted assignment. You're not supposed to break down when a running back goes in motion and switch off. The corner went out for the running back, and that produced the mismatch. 12.59 to go. This is the two-point conversion. After the pass from Winky to Dugans, put the nose back in the lead for the deuce. Got it. Warwick. From the gun. Inside shovel pass. Kendrick for the first down. Takes the inside handoff and then did take off on a quarterback throw. To the humble Knowles. Florida State football inside the 35-yard line. For Derek Gibson, Cheney still in. As the Florida State running back with the first call, steps lively out to the right with a quick first step, breaks free. Out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. Third down and goal. Set the screen. Cheney in trouble. 32 yards for Sebastian Janikowski. Who knows? Maybe that was his last field goal for Florida State. Remember, he's going to turn professional. Needs the money to bring his mother, Helena, over from Poland. Timeout. First down and 10. Here's the end around with Andre Davis, the speedster, trying to get him some running room. First down and a gain of 16 yards with Bradley Jennings coming from behind to make a pretty good lick on him, huh? Third down and eight. And Dick tried to dance for him. He's found it with Corey Simon, the All-American nose guard. The first to hit it. 
I don't know about Michael Vick running out of gas, but it's, that was the first time I've seen the defensive line for Florida State dominate the offensive line for Virginia Tech. No one blocked anyone in that series. Peter Warwick, and it's a fake. Sorensen, short of the first down. With 7.55 to go, Frank Beamer and the Hokies let it all hang out on a fourth down gamble. I knew I could come back for my senior year just to stay, you know, help those guys, help the team do what I do. But oh, I talked to my parents and my mom is really important to me, so I can send her some money, you know, help her out, or either bring her here just live with me. That's a great thought. Here's Winky. Going deep. Warwick's all alone. Penalty flags down. Touchdown. Touchdown, Florida State. 43 yards. And Peter Warwick, a night of redemption, his third touchdown of this championship game. The reason why he came back as a senior, he told us, was to win a ring and a championship trophy. Six catches, 163 yards, and three touchdowns. One on a punt return and two receptions. Beck in trouble. That's the fifth sack of the game. Michael Vick only threw 17 or more passes in three games, and usually when he was throwing, they were ahead. They threw when they wanted to throw, not in this situation. Wearing down, but he gave us a great show, didn't he? Sure did. A lot of good stories developed yes. this year, didn't they, in they college really football? You know, and this BCS thing's working pretty good. I hate, you know, I mean, yeah. it's, it's two pretty good games here. I say. A football game. A little short on the punt. It's going to take a Florida State hop in down around the 40-yard line. And <laughs> Home run ball on its way again. Knocked away. Play. The freshman. Whitaker. Let me go back and take a look at Bobby Bowden. By the numbers, it is just unbelievable. 13 straight seasons, 10 or more wins. Michael Victor Davis, and he has dropped. But, and maybe a, a, a tenth of a second faster in the 40, and yeah. Steve was probably as fast as they went as a quarterback. Vick is back. Complete. First down, Virginia Tech, 338, and Emmett Johnson for 23 yards that time. In college football, the way Parity has gone, to have the record he has, he's attracting the top talent in the country. And Vic fires again, this one to Davis, getting to the corner, trying to get it turned, but Gibson would not let him free. Then finally, Mickey Andrews and the Knowles defense settled things down out there the offense did the rest Peter Warwick for another touchdown 46 29 and the Hokies driving right back down the field for the end zone incomplete but a penalty flag is thrown I think all six are here tonight well why should you do interviews while your team runs a flea flicker <laughs> it's easy right you know he's a little hoarse from all the interviews he did oh, over yeah. oh it was a quip a minute he he's, really he's the best interview this side of my friend Joe Pitton here's Vic Going down now. Twelve yard line. That's the seventh sack. Bradley Jennings pouring in on him again. And he is taken. Well, the first champion of the 21st century, and it's a familiar face over there, Bobby Bowden and the Florida State Seminoles. It took Bowden 24 years, but he finally got it perfect. Now one of the genuine good guys can enjoy his second national championship as he wins the Nokia Sugar Bowl in New Orleans. The Seminoles are champions. 46 to 29. Coach Frank Beamer and his Hokies showed a lot of heart in their comeback, but they came up short, and he'll go over to congratulate Coach Bowden.
one stat that Virginia Tech will go home and think about. Corey Moore tonight was held to one tackle. They lose it. The presentation is coming up next here on ABC.